Once upon a time, there was a city made of cardboard. In it lived the Cardboardians, a poor people, while their feckless ruler, King Particle Board, lived a life of luxury consuming meat and potatoes, cold beer, and lounging with perfumed women. Still, the Cardboardians were happy. One such happy soul was that of little Billy Cardboard. One afternoon, while playing near old Harvey's pond, he heard some shouting. When he looked up, he couldn't believe his eyes. In the distance, hopping like madmen straight towards Cardboard City, was the fierce army of the Potato Sack people. Billy knew he had to warn his city, for the wrath of the Potato Sackers was legendary. They were known to make you eat fluke worms, or to crush your house down with you in it, tickle you or your sister until you both couldn't breathe. He ran all the way back to town without stopping once, not even to use the bathroom. The potato sack people are coming, he shouted. They're coming to kill us. Terror swept through the hearts of every Cardboardian as they saw their destruction hopping feverishly towards them. The townspeople became crazed with fear. Hop, hop, hopping. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hop, hop, hopping. Little Billy Cardboard ran to beseech the king for his protection. But the drunk half-witted ninny hammer just laughed. Ha, 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 ha. Realizing that the king would be of no help. Total chaos engulfed the town. Hop, hop, hop. Holes were being dug. Hop, hop, hop. Dr. Harry Carey started out handing suicide tablets free of charge. Hop, hop, hop. Others tried to hide while Mr. Skewer was offering free slains. Hop, hop, hop. Doc, being a coward himself, ran leaping to his death over the cardboard walls. Little Billy Cardboard watched in horror as the fierce potato sack people hopped right up to the town's edge. Hop, hop. Hop, hop, hopping on by. Death was everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And little Billy Cardboard knew that this was his very own fault. The End